Welcome to this quick tutorial about name badges and how to customize them in Neos. If you'd like a more long form video that explains everything about name badges, there's one link to the video description. It is 20 minutes long though, so I want to make the shorter one for those who are impatient and just want to customize things quickly. I have videos up to you. I'll also put some links in the video description to other material about how to customize nameplates by name badges by other users. Let's get started. First step, equip an avatar. Make sure you've got an avatar equipped and that's the avatar you want a custom name badge on. Second step, grab the developer tooltip and then you need to inspect yourself. Easiest way to do that is to grab your other hand, aim your laser at it, hit secondary, and then open inspector. Let's go ahead and hop into smooth POV. With this avatar's hand selected, hit the up arrow on the left here to go to the root of your avatar, then hit the uh, one on the left, right here, sorry, to go all the way up to your user root. On your user root, you'll see that there is the name badge and icon badge um, slots. Drag these into your avatar root. Your avatar root probably isn't named entity, it's probably named something FBX. You should know what your avatar root is, it's exactly the same as the name of your avatar in your inventory. So if it's like, I don't know, um, fluffy thing with a tail or FBX, then that is that is the avatar root. So drag both of those into there, so it should look like that. Just underneath the root of the avatar, you'll see name badge and icon badge. With that done, then save your avatar and then load back into it. I'll show, you, show, I'll show you doing that. Let me just go to a folder in my inventory, which is safe. Turning on private UI. With this avatar that I've just edited, I'm going to hit the blue download arrow here. This saves the avatar that I'm currently wearing. I'm going to select the avatar and hit lightning bolt that equips it. Now I'm going to re-inspect myself. And what you'll see here is I've got rid of that name bag name badge that was at the top on the user root, and now I only have the one that is down in my avatar. So you'll see that's saving. Next, we can go ahead and select the name badge because we've got a little bit of fixing to do. This is required because of the way that we're doing things. It shouldn't take that long, so do uh, keep up here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the name badge. Go to Attach Component, Users, Common Avatar System, Avatar User Reference Assigner, Hit add here, target user into here, grab another window for icon badges, scroll all the way to the bottom where it says target user, click add, drag target user in, good. Then re-equip the avatar for this, do it in the world, so find another avatar, equip, jump back into your avatar, equip, find your inspector again in your window, and you'll see that everything is now lined up. So now the name tag is following your head, and it is on your avatar, and so it's now ready for intense customization. Let's go for intense customization. So often what people want to change is the color and the font. So let's go over those. So find the uh, find the name badge slot. Here's the name badge slot. And then scroll till you find avatar name tag assigner. Once you find avatar name tag assigner, clear the first uh, label target object here. So just clear that out. Uh, go to color targets, clear this out. Go to outline targets, clear that out. Leave the friend link one alone. Now scroll to the top and you can change everything here. So if you want a different color, you can go ahead and change a different color. So now my name tag is blue. If you want a different font, just import a font file. You can import font files into Neos, much like a picture or a model. Just drag it from your desktop or control C, control V in or use the file browser to import it. It will come in as an object that is a piece of text which represents the name of the font. Here's one I prepared earlier. This is an OTF file. I can just hold this with one hand by grabbing it and then click font with the other one and then the fonts change. So if I go up to the mirror, hey, my name tag now looks quite spacey. Let's continue. My name tag happens to have an uh, outline. That's just because I'm uh, on the team. That's one of the things I get. So if you scroll down to the text on lit material, you'll see that there's an outline color that controls the outline color. So I can go ahead and make that blue. And now I've got a blue outline. It's incredibly difficult to read. So I'll go ahead and undo that. If you wanted to change what the name tag said, you can edit that right up here. So you can go ahead and just X that out and, and change it to whatever you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and do Cheese Man. And now my name tag says Cheese Man. Because we cleared out the avatar name tag uh, assigner earlier, that's uh, why we're able to do that. If you haven't cleared out that avatar name tag assigner, this will be reset to uh, the value of your username when you uh, re-equip the avatar. If you want to change the height or position that your name tag is at, scroll down to position at user and then change this property 0.23. Change it up or down if you want to change the Y position. So make it larger if you want to go up 
make it smaller if you want to go down. If you want to go left or right, change X. If you want to go uh, forward or backwards, change Z. Don't change the position anywhere else, just need to change it there. If your icon badges are then out of alignment uh, because of that, select the icon badges, scroll down to position at user, change this property again, height higher, lower, left, right is X, and then forward and backwards is Z. That's all there is to it. Um, it's a very basic uh, custom name badge, I know. But that is a lot shorter than the 20 minute complete overview. So if you'd like more information, go ahead, check that complete overview. This is just quick and dirty. See you next time. Oh, and save your avatar before you're done with all of that. Yes, once you're done with all of it, save.